Um, hello, guys. Hi, guys. My name is Christine and I'm live from Gloucester. And today we are going to discuss uh, quite an important topic in uh, today's world. Um, today's uh, topic is about social uh, social media and can our social media activities lead to depression um, so it's lovely to be here and welcome you all um, and I'd like to start off with Arush. Arush can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? Hello Arush. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Arush. Arush, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? Yes, ma'am. My name is Arush Kumar. I study in class 5. My school is Ali Babu School, University, Kolkata. And my favorite hobbies are playing, singing, and dancing. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, Arush, what did you do with your day today? Yes, ma'am. Come in the morning at 6 o'clock. And then I went to school, sorry, uh, I, my winter vacation started, so I was at home. Mm -hmm. The whole day I played and my relatives also came today. And uh, then, I, uh, then I joined 6th and 7th and 7th online classes. Mm -hmm. I'm joining a class now, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so Arush, can you tell me, do you think social media activity can lead to depression? Yes. Okay, uh, tell me a bit more. Yes, why and how? Negatively affect mental health, leading to feelings of loneliness, isolation and depression. Mm -hmm. Okay, and has it affected you? Have you ever felt the effects of it? Uh, as I am a child, so uh, it, it, it didn't affect me. Okay. In, in, uh, in corona time uh, like corona virus time so on that time all uh, people were uh, spreading fake news of corona and and that's reasons so the so like everybody was in depression and thinking that i will not do this you will not do that okay very good okay thank you very much arush um, yes, Okay, next we'll move on to Aksha. Hi, Aksha. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Hi, Aksha. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? Yes, yeah, so my name is Aksha and I'm currently pursuing my MBA from IBS Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. And today was, I had classes till 1.40. Mm -hmm. And I was free from then and I had a good sleep after a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, so now I'm fresh and good. Okay, excellent. Very good. Um, so, Aksha, can you tell me, um, do you think that um, social media uh, activity can lead to depression? Uh, yes, I have read many articles about this, actually, like a bit long back. Mm -hmm. uh, like when we use, I, when I read, I came through many reasons. One of the reasons was when we go through social media, Mm -hmm. person became isolated they don't talk to much people like out of their phone actually like peers or friends like in uh, in whatsapp or instagram they may be chatting but in the real time they will not talk to them or me uh, get, they don't meet up and like the sharing in the face to face doesn't happen and uh, it is like when we observe the old elder generation like our parent generation we're more happy at these times. Like our mothers, always, like Indian parents always say, if you throw your phone, half of your problems will be gone. They say always this thing. Sometimes I feel that too. Like if we spend more time with our parents, grandparents, and like with our friends, we will feel more happy and more energized than chatting. Like we will be isolated. And I have seen some of my friends getting tangled and depressed because their friends are achieving something and they see in this phone and they say, you see, they are reaching in this level. We are like useless and they go isolated, more isolated. They don't talk to anyone or try to mm -hmm. improve their skills. They will be like, I am not able to do anything. Other people are reaching and like 
they just demotivate themselves so i have seen that too so yeah i think it is a uh, higher risk is there uh, when we use social media uh, for depression okay and have you ever felt this yourself have you ever experienced it yeah when uh, covid time was there like the first uh, one month like mm-hmm. covid hit here in march uh, 23 like that so april month i was like uh, using only phones i like no other things to do like that that time i saw myself like isolating from every other person mm-hmm. from, from my parents like only parents was there like so i was anxious and i was not getting proper sleep at nights always scrolling in phones and uh, things then i uh, like i came across that by i started drawing reading books which helped me to put my phone and like digital detox i did for one month then i was like i felt more happy like i felt more connected to people and things and then i got a pet so i was more happy with my pet than my phone so yeah like See. yeah excellent okay thank you very much for that thank you aksha okay uh next we have raj shri keshri hi raj Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, hi, Raj. Rashri, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? Yeah, my name is Rajshri. I am from Bihar and uh, I am working under the NCW and uh, with Bihar state government uh, for the violence against women. And uh, I, my day was the normal because uh, it was hectic. Because uh, it's the last day of the week, so um, the woman was crowded so much and the work was pending. So I completed my uh, weekly report and everything uh, today. So that's why it was hectic for me. And now I'm doing painting. <laughs> Means uh, before, uh, before this discussion, I, I was doing painting. Due to social media and using a lot of phone, that's why I used to do a painting uh, for the time pass. After the office, I use the uh, use paintings and everything uh, for uh, for diverting. Sorry, 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 for distracting me uh, from social media and everything. Mm-hmm. So yes, uh, you are right. Uh, uh, it is depression for the few people. not for the everyone for me uh, it was because uh, when i was in 2020 yeah starting of the uh, covid actually the using of lot of using of phones i have i faced so many um, internal issues uh, uh, in my body actually the digestion actually the uh, it was uh, uh, i was disturbed totally disturbed menstruation problems so much means i faced so many problems using uh, the social media and using lot and lot of phone that's why i i always used to less using of mobile phone so uh, the the influencing videos the influencing videos the influencing uh, messages that is motivated me but after that the fake news is fake uh, uh, news is and videos and the mm, not in our culture what what we are doing the good things it attracts me but the bad things it always uh, give away from the all the things so mm, yeah this is excellent. for me yeah excellent thank you very much thank you very much for, thank you thank for you your christine input raj shri You're welcome. Okay, and next we have uh, Li Shu. Hi, Li Shu. Hello. Hello. Uh, Hi, Li Shu. Can you please uh, introduce? Hi, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Um, so I think it's better to keep your camera off. Um, because it's a bit uh, the the connection is yeah. not that great it seems so um lijo can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day first yeah sure yeah. 
हेलो एवरी वन आई एम रिजल महापात्रा आई वॉज बॉर्न इन बॉटम प्रोडक्शन एंड करंट रिपोर्ट से मैं एम बी ए फ्राम एक फाइव एस स्कूल हैदराबाद and uh, about my day it was pretty much normal there's nothing more exciting and uh, yeah just uh, it's a weekend night with team surviving with okay very good um and did you know you still hello i huh? are you still there hello lijo am i audible christine yes yes you are audible now Okay. Yes, you're audible. Is it better? Yes. I apologize. Uh, yes. Uh, like my apology for the network. Yes, I'm it's better. It's better. It's a weekend night, so no friends and all. Uh, so a bit poor network and all. Yes, and uh, we can still hear you. Um, hello. Uh, hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah. See, come on. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. Oh, I'm losing her. Um, Lisho. Yeah, Christine, can you hear me? Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, I can. Okay, okay. So you can continue if you'd like to answer today's question. Um, do you think social media activities lead to depression? Like for me, social media is something that I consider both. moon and a bean at the same time. For example, uh, if you use it properly, it would lead to. Uh, You know, a lot of numerous amount of good reasons, but the, again, the keeping in consideration the current generation and the amount of cyber crime that has come up recently, and amount of frauds and all those things that happen. So, uh, like I have a sister, she's eight years younger to me, and uh, her use of social media is something I still do not accept properly, maybe because of the generation, you know. But I think if she is using it, she should be in a very controlled manner because there are a lot of things that still now I do feel very, you know, outrightly not good about social media. So properly handling is very necessary. Like recently, we heard about a lot of games that to, that to came up in social media and all that would lead to people committing suicide and all. So there is always a fear around it. And uh, leading to depression, I feel it depends upon person to person and perspective of how children are. Like children and uh, for anyone to get depression from social media, it's most probably because of children. Like it's not necessary; it has to be child only because these days we see all this body types and all this body positivity going around, and there is a very fixed type of body proportion or you know the look, physical look is very important. Like all the things that people post and all people. It, Does get affected to adults as well, so that is very important that we need to understand that what social media was eventually bought out for. That was for engaging people, knowing about the world. But recently, it has affected a lot, and uh, I feel that has led to depression in most of the kinds. But yeah, that's the end of the thing. I feel. Have you felt this like um, on yourself? Have you have you felt low at any point because of using social media? Have you had any personal experience from it? See, for social media, I won't say that I had depression and all, but definitely it sometimes uh, you know make you worry about all these DMs that you get from unknown people, mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes it's just a bit too much. Being a girl, you get uh, you know DMs and all that, and. Not supposed to be there, and you know the unknown calls and unknown messages. It sometimes disturb you a lot. That okay, why is it happening? And mm -hmm. sometimes it just like when I am low personally, my feelings are low. Then it does affect me. We all are humans. We do affect, and then we see everyone going out. Suppose it's a New Year, and I'm not out anywhere with my friends or something partying. I'm in the room in my bed. So definitely, social media gives me a lot of FOMO at that that time that I'm not enjoying. Everybody is, but that's I feel a complete deception because it's only one person of the population who is doing that, and if they are not, they're just posting old stuff. So it's very hard to distinguish between reality and you know the fake world. And certainly, it sometimes do lead us to uh you know unknowingly or knowingly to the road that we don't want to go in. Like um, for example, if I'm posting a picture. I definitely go and look for the likes, which I personally believe I shouldn't. I shouldn't go and look at who saw, who didn't, who did, and then that somehow or other affects us in some other way. That is, I feel is completely wrong. Like 
being humans we have this tendency of you know socializing and all but definitely this self affirmation should be there rather than you know giving like getting affirmation from others and you know how you should be all okay thank you very much ashu so, yeah thank, thank you, so you ashu you're welcome okay next we have uh, gayatri hi gayatri Hello. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening, Gayatri. Can you introduce yourself and briefly tell us about your day and you can move on to today's question, please. Yeah, yeah. So, hello everyone. I'm Gayatri Rajiv. I'm from Kerala, it's a southern state in India. And um coming to uh, I'm pursuing a BA from Ifai Business School that is in Hyderabad. And um coming to my day, uh, I had classes from morning till evening. and then here uh, as i am a part of cultural club we we everybody we are here for a night out uh, we are out of campus uh, so yeah i'm not in my hostel i am somewhere outside now. so it's going really good so for five minutes i excuse uh, i asked to uh, ask excuse me so yeah sure. that's it nothing special okay thank you very much okay so kathri what do you think about today's question a uh, social media is leading to depression i don't think like social media can lead to depression but actually yeah i think that uh, it depends on the person who's using it everything mm-hmm. has its own you know positives and negative pros and cons so one who can handle it really well i don't think that it can lead to depression but yeah i can talk about me so at times uh, like we we all want like acceptance from the society and that is the main reason why we we show ourselves on social media we post our pictures uh, videos and we want likes uh, we want people to notice that we want them to know that we are happy uh, it in reality it might be we are not happy so yeah there are times uh, uh, social media is not the reason why i uh, why i i might be depressed or why I, why i am sad but uh, yeah uh, but it is fake i'm being fake there and people actually uh, see me uh, uh, you know the, the the people see only the positive sides yes absolutely so that is yeah. uh, you know the social media leading to depression uh, i it can happen uh, it depends mm-hmm. on the person who's using it okay okay that's for- my take on it Very good. Thank you very much, Gayatri. Yeah. Thank you, Christine. You're welcome. Okay. Next, we have Shaifali. Hi, Shaifali. Hello, ma'am. Hi, Shaifali. Can you introduce yourself briefly, and you can move on to today's question. Uh, I'm from Delhi, and I have currently completed my graduation, and my day is well today. But as yes, it is winter going on, so it is a little bit cold nowadays. and i just got a cold so it is not a good day but yes the day is well as i have a daily routine so i just follow that and i join this class now very good thank you um so can you uh, move on to today's question please uh, yes i think like social media sometimes lead us to depression not much but yes as it depends upon person to person how we are using it because many people use it in good way sometimes now people use it in negative way also nowadays it mm-hmm. is very harmful for us sometimes because nowadays hacking like uh, body shaming and other things are like as a potential like if you are sitting at like, you know, oh dear are it safe it's not a problem but i am not what sorry go see people so a lot of times like uh, they are sitting just and we are just sitting at home and we so pictures people going yeah. to world tours or other places so we feel very much uh, like isolated that we are not able to do that we are not able to go somewhere so we feel depressed like we are not able to that much that they are doing so we are excluding by that so feeling so sometimes thinking that we sometimes exclude ourselves due to that but it depends on one person if we are thinking like that we should not think because if the other the person is exploring we can explore a lot of new things from social media we can get to know about the world's far away places also so it depends upon person we how we are using and it is like nowadays awareness is also there 
so i don't think a little bit depending on person how social media is affecting if i ask about personally it doesn't affect much if you are using in like right way in like uh, if i ask about myself like in covid i have to face a lot of problems like we feel like other people are doing something they have started new business and other things and we are just sitting idly at home doing some online classes or something but nothing much so we feel depressed due to that also and covid time is a lot of, like to be a difficult time for us and everyone for it is so i think that time i used the social media a lot sometimes i feel depressed sometimes not but it is okay period now i am fine with because i have really to do works and from that we can do that so i don't think so it depends upon person to person very good thank you very much shaifali okay next we have rushan hi rushan hello christine how are you i'm good thank you so briefly introduce yourself and move on to today's question please okay uh, hello everybody i am rushan hader and i am from kolkata currently pursuing mba from ikfai business school uh, so as we are talking about uh, social media causing depression i think it's very subjective and it depends on person to person like uh, social media is a great tool to uh, interact with people but at the same time excess of anything is bad if uh, we try to find solace in social media and get addicted to it and uh, compare our lives with everybody on it so definitely it's going to lead to any mental health problem uh, anxiety or depression anything of that sort you are going to get affected because of it and also uh, like too much interaction with people on an uh, empathetic level is not good you need to have uh, that uh, space and time for yourself and i think uh, our generation is really addicted to social media like e- even talking to you on uh, while talking to you guys on zoom i uh, my instagram is open right now Mm-hmm. i'm constantly looking at my messages so and even in uh, whenever we are in class we have uh, one part of our brain that is connected to social media we are always check we are always checking our phones that's it so yeah it can lead to mental health issues not necessarily depression but yeah okay thank you very much thank you rushan you're welcome okay next we have uh, sushitra hi sushitra So she tried you there. Uh, yeah. Hi, Christine. I are you able to hear me? I guess we we can hear you. So you can introduce yourself and move to on to today's topic. All right, all right. Uh, so my name is Sushitra. I'm a South Indian. I'm coming mm-hmm. from Vishakhapatnam, uh, Andhra Pradesh. Currently pursuing my MBA degree from Ikfa Business School, Hyderabad. Uh, so yeah. excellent so um do you think social media leads to depression uh yeah uh, as uh, rishan rightly mentioned that uh, it is kind of indeed subjective because it depends on the uh, person how the the ability of the person how he is he or she is taking and and how is uh, the certain kind of uh, emotions reacting to the uh, 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 social media post or something like that mm-hmm. the expectations of a person uh, would really uh, would affect any kind of a social uh, i mean uh, psychological impact on that individual so i can kind of guess um, it is subject and okay okay yeah. and uh, have you been um, affected by it personally yeah when i was uh, new to social media i was indeed affected by social media but i wasn't uh, in a uh, very bad state let's say uh, i was uh, eaten up by the dopamine levels as uh, the social network um, the movie uh, the document which has re- has been released by netflix so that was kind of impacting me so uh, uh, while i mean my algorithm is kind of a uh, kind of uh, a, a kind of a thing which really doesn't impact on me because uh, i am 
very much aware of what con uh, content I'm consuming on daily basis. So I would keep my algorithm in certain way uh, so that I can relate to it or uh, not get affected to it. So, so I learned this thing over time. But uh, yeah, in the initial period, I was affected by social media, but not in a very depressed state. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Sushitra. You're welcome, Chris. Okay, so next we have Ananya. Uh, Ananya, briefly um, introduce yourself and move on to today's question, please. Yeah, hi, Christine. Hi, everyone. I'm really sorry I joined late because I'm it's home okay. and I was okay. working out. Yeah. <laughs> So I just returned from my gym and I had a ten intense workout and uh, currently I'm at my home, uh, walking towards my home, I'm in my flat and uh, yeah, the day was pretty cool because I had three classes, I just completed my classes and I came back to my home. So weekends are going to be fun because we don't have any exams right now. So yeah, that's it. Excellent. So what's it, what yeah. is your take on today's topic? Yes, Christine. Um, as everybody, uh, all of my colleagues have said that, you know, it uh, depends on the person who is using the social media. Of course, it uh, entirely depends on the person. Because I think if there is a, um, uh, you know, negative, there is too much negativity in the world right now. If you can just, you cannot deny it. There is too much negativity. People are, you know, uh, getting into other people's life. And uh, some people are just trying to be somebody else. They are not just real, them, uh, you know, the they're not themselves they are not real anymore so i think in that process uh, they have lost their identity they have lost what they actually are what makes them beautiful their life beautiful their story beautiful i think that has led to depression otherwise uh, if you see that uh, people have really uh, uh, in social media have really inspired so many things and uh, because of social media we have learned so many things we are going you know, because of social media, we are uh, able to know so many things. I think uh, that uh, that is the pro of social media. Otherwise, for the cons, I think you are just trying to be somebody else. You are just looking at somebody's life and you are just trying to be them. I think that is the con. Otherwise, uh, apart from that, I don't think so any other you know problem is there just i want to share one quick uh, thing is that you know be kind it doesn't take any cost to be kind i think that will lead the world into a new phase and you know people will really like each other and uh, just be kind that is the only motto thank you very much ananya um yeah. okay next we have uh, chatterjee P pulumi chatterjee uh, yeah. Hello, Christine. Hi, Palumi. Can you um, introduce yourself briefly and move on to today's topic, please? Yes. Uh, my name is Palumi Chatterjee and I'm from West Bengal. Currently, I'm post mm -hmm. MBA from IBS Hyderabad. And regarding today's topic, like there are lots of pros and cons because social media is a very debatable topic. Mm -hmm. We see it is constantly being on the top when it comes to uh, when it comes to talk about it, pros and cons as well. So it is, first of all, it is up to a person how they look forward to it. Some people get motivated, some people get demotivated because in today's lifestyle, people have a tendency to look into others' life way too much than what they're doing for themselves. So that creates a bad impact. And like, it depends, as I told, it depends on person to person, how they take it. Like if I'm scrolling somebody's, uh, some uh, uh, some famous personalities, Instagram or Facebook profile or any form of uh, social media platform. If I get inspired, that is good. And if I try to imitate that person or be like that person, that is not right. So it is quite contradictory topic to talk about what I really think of. And it's better to take the good points of it rather than focusing on the bad thing. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. And next we have Sangram. So last but not least, Sangram, introduce yourself and move on to today's question, please. Uh, hello. Hello. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Hello. Yes, I'm Working as an HR recruiter, and now I'm returning home from my home. Okay, Sangram, can you please answer today's question? 
Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Um, okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sangram. Thank you. Okay, so thank you guys. Uh, so thank you for discussing and giving me your opinions today. Um, it's been a great class and I look forward to seeing you again um, next Monday. Thank you very much, guys. Um, and thank you for sharing your opinion. And I hope you have a good evening. Thank you, Christine. Thank you. Bye, bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. bye. bye. अभी कांटे वाले को छुट्टी होगा आपके अपने बाल के लिए छुट्टी होगा छुट्टी है तो छुट्टी है तो कहने में सुबह अभी जाके कांटे भी तो सेना में जा रहे हैं बिस्तर कांटे वाला उठता ही है